Shami's Story Time, a special edition to celebrate Shami's fourth birthday. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus had a spotamus on her bottomus. It's measles, said Weasel. You sat in a breezel and caught a diseasel. There's only one treatment, exposing your seatment to sunshine and heatment. Potamus stood on her head, tail to the sun like Weasel said. But the spotamus stayed red. It's hippopox, said Fox. Wear woolly pants and socks, warm petticoats and frocks. But Potamus got hotamus, grumpimus and grottimus, and still she had the spotamus. It's jungle fever, said Beaver. I believe we should leave her to scrub her skin with soot. So Potamus got sootimus from nosimus to footimus, but the spotamus stayed put. It's hippo lumps, said Lion. Ah, oh, it's potto mumps, said Shrew. It's hippo flu, said Rhino, but no one had a clue. I'm a doctor, said the croc. Do you feel any pain when I stroke it and poke it? Let me try that again. A needle in the bottomus will rid you of the spotamus. Despite his perfect shotamus, the cure was in vain. It's a blister, said his sister. You should pop it right away. It's a trapped hair, said Brown Bear. Just smother it with clay. It's snotamus, what rotamus, you clotamus hissed Snake. This slippy hippopotamus is allergic to cake. Cut out chipochocomus, eat lettuce for a week. But the spot on Hippo's bottomus stuck firmly to her cheek. Then all sad and snotamus, there came a little lad who searched around a lotamus for something he once had. He knew he'd put it somewhere, but alas, he had forgotten us, until he saw the body of the spotty hippopotamus. The small boy had a sneaky peek and tweaked the hippo's bum. That's not a spot, he squeaked. That's my bubble gum.